dishes and I want the house clean by the time we get back, okay? Okay. Okay, bye. Uh, wait, can we hold that so then we can like show No, them? we're leaving. No. Bye. 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 I don't know, figure it out. Bye. Be inventive. Home, welcome to the Deerwood. This is it, it's like June 22nd. We're already two days into summer and this is our first RV walk. I wanna tell you something. Okay. I went to Trader Joe's today and I got this package of dark chocolate peanut Oh, I love Reese's. those. Those are 99 cents they're, for like I know, 10. they're it's, by the front register. It's the easiest thing to Guess purchase. where I bought them at, the front register. So anyway, so they're sitting on the kitchen table at home and I counted, there's seven in there. So we'll see when we get home if there are still seven. I think that there's still going to be seven. I think there will be. Now I, I think came our home. kids normally like ask for things. Well, I told the kids I would get them Master Donies this morning. Yeah, they had a donut, so Amen for sure won't eat it. If anybody is gonna eat it on the count of three, say who it would be. One, two, three. Fiona. Fiona. I came in from installing the stabilizers. Oh, thank you. And she was chewing on one of my donies. My plain, old fashioned, like semi guilt free one, you know? I, she was in there just mowing on it. And I said, get your little grubby paws. There's a bite on my, my maple bar. Did you do that? No, that was either Fiona or Finn. I think it was Fiona. All right, so what do you think of the Deerwood? Well, first of all, yeah. There are so many cute dogs at RV parks. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this. I would love an RV dog. Yeah, me too. Say the type of dog you want on the count of three. One, two, three. Golden, Golden Retriever. Retriever. See, we're both on the same page. That's a good one. But we're probably not gonna do a puppy right now. That seems Actually, like Actually, you know what? Like ideally, I don't know 100% if I would want a puppy. Like I think maybe I would want like a one or two year, two year old maybe. Mm -hmm. One that's just like already potty trained. Yeah. It's like having a newborn, no thanks. Anybody out there with newborns? God bless you. Good on you. Good on you. Those are long nights. Do you remember when Eamon couldn't nurse or he had something going on with his tongue? He had a heart-shaped tongue. tongue he had like a heart-shaped tongue. Thingy, attacher. And so there were some nights where she was asleep, he would not nurse, and so I had to like- They sent us home with a syringe and a, and a little tube, a little right. tube, and he would right. tape it to his finger. I would tape that little tube to my finger. And it was called, remember? Finger feeding. Finger feeding. And I would jam that right into his mouth <laughs> and he'd start suckling. <laughs> And I would just slowly squirt. That was a thing 11 years ago. Apparently. That was how you fed a child that would well, not Well, I guess they didn't want to get like used to a bottle or something. I don't right. know. But. Now, let me tell you, there were some moments where it was like four in the morning and I was so tired. Now, you were supposed to just slowly inject this milk into his mouth. There were some nights where I literally, he drank a whole boob's worth in like five <laughs> minutes, five minutes, just zzz, squirt that in. Now. He's fine now. He's doing good. So the, the Deerwood is like 70 spots. So here's the thing, Deerwood. Yeah. Really well maintained, clean. Really well maintained. Nice grounds. Yep. We have, um, we're right in the Greenbelt area. The park, not huge. Right. I don't know like how parks go if this is considered like average. Standard. Don't know, but. Hear that? Road noise. Yeah, so this is Highway 58. And this was where our spot was going to be when we first started. It was like we were going to have this spot here. And we had talked to the people and said, listen, if there's any way we can be on the other side, we would love to kind of be on standby. We really just wanted to be in the inner area where there's a big area where so you guys have you guys have frisbee. seen where we play Frisbee and all that stuff, which has been really nice. I think this is kind of going to be par for the course in the summertime. I think that places are just going to be. This place hasn't been full though until the last week. And now since the last week we've been getting a lot like the sun came out. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of like there's no vacancy. So we're gonna be here for one more week. A week from tomorrow. Okay. We're, we're gonna we're gonna head out. It's been nice. It's been good. It's to kind of allowed us to work out the kinks in our yes. rig, yeah. do some projects like the stabilizer, a, a billion projects. Right. But we're ready to do something. Actually travel. Yeah. Right? Like we've moved 15 minutes away from our old house. Yeah. But it's been good because we can have stuff from Amazon sent to your sent to your parents. We can go yeah, over and get it. Really we can install it. But I feel like we're kind of at the point where we've done everything that we're gonna do to the rig. Mm -hmm. And so we're just biding our time until our canopy comes in essentially. Right. I don't normally go over to the coast in the summertime. In fact, I don't remember the last time I went over to the, the, the coast in the summer. Yeah. And here in Oregon we call it the coast. We never call it the beach. Right. It is a coast. It's not like a 
lay out in your bathing suit. No. Beach. I mean, people do. But. People do, but that's like two days a year, and they're Oregonians, and you don't want to see them in their bathing suit anyway. <laughs> and like, you don't it's go blinding. in past your knee because there's like a strong undertow. No, there's undertows, suck there's you sharks, out. there's. All yeah, kinds we of stuff. have great white sharks here in Oregon, so yeah. it's no joke. Now, if we were in Hawaii, cut to scene of Hawaii. Cut it up. Boogie boarding, we, snorkeling. Boogie board, he yeah. You go out and you boogie board here. We used to do this thing at the Oregon Coast called skittle boarding. Oh, I tried to skittle board one time. Which is like you would have a piece of plywood, like a circular disc. Oh. Now they actually have boards that you throw along that little sheen of water yeah. and you ride it right into the wake, into the wave. Yeah. We had giant plywood, plywood discs with splinters. <laughs> and as soon as that wave would go out, you'd flip it out and you'd run and jump on it and you'd wipe out. You get splinters oh in your feet, in your God. hand. Remember that time I tried to do that on the boogie board on the beach? Mm, you the wiped boogie, out? No, well, I tried to do it on my stomach. Oh, and it run stuck. And, and then it stuck right and you in wiped the out. sand. I do I just, remember that. You know when you're doing something and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I'm way older than I What do we have I here? Was. We got Pleasant Hill, Goshen, Fire Rescue. He's got a firefighter beard. Oh, he had a full beard. on. What the? Why? Firefighters out there, why do you do that? Why do you do the look. giant, like it's not a, it's not like a mustache, it's, it's not a, a goatee, it's a giant handlebar. I'm gonna do the mustache. Pilots, now Solely. there's a reason why pilots just have mustaches. Right. It has to do with the... It looks cool. Oxygen mask. The oxygen mask. Solely though, that was a stash. My dad on. wanted me to name one of our sons Sullivan, after Sully. Dude, We're gonna much. be in the Hudson. <laughs> you gotta use your captain voice when you say that you're gonna be in the Hudson. <laughs> You know, he, you know his voice is actually really high pitched, like Mike Tyson. But then when he got on the radio, he was like, "Say hey, Mike Harrigan, we're gonna be in the Hudson." Is that true? You, yeah, you always you always go to your like captain voice. What's your captain voice? Oh baby. No, you for real. Well, folks, uh, from the flight deck, here's your captain speaking. It's, it's very so slow, very deep. And you gotta exude that confidence. Even though inside you may be terrified, you gotta just slow it down and say, hey folks, uh, the wing just fell off. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try to land this thing. Right. Sure you buckle your seatbelt. Thanks for flying. Stay down, heads down. Some Heads down, stay down. Yeah. yeah. I see, I know. I actually yeah. could have been a fighter's in Wow, this is quite the parking job. I'm sorry, I Look thought it. that you were gonna repark it. This is quite it. the parking Honestly, job. Honestly, I thought that you were gonna repark it. It's I was to listen, go straight in listen, here. Wait, listen, onto no, the grass. I... Wow, please listen. stay off of the grass. I don't even know if the How fire... is this fire truck going to get you by? Know. Listen. Now we got the fire truck. The trunk's open. Listen, I just parked it to get the groceries out. He right. was supposed to repark it. Right. And didn't. Parking is not my strong suit. Three weeks in, it's been all right. There's something that I've noticed is that right, are my feet scraping too? Pick up your too? feet. Pick someone your someone feet. mentioned about the sound yeah, that my feet listen, make listen. when they walk. They're I like, didn't have the heart so to loud. tell him, but I told him pick up your feet when you walk. And so I said, it's not me. It's the amazing sound of this camera. It picks <laughs> up everything. No, he doesn't pick up his feet when he walks. Anyway, they and it was it was Andy. Andy did ask about. We are gonna call Andy. It was out. Andy. <laughs> Andy, you know what you can do? You can take your comment. And you can keep it, share it with everyone. I think it's a great feedback. I love feedback. Thank you. But he did ask about the camera. It's like this amazing camera with amazing sound. And I said it's a GoPro. GoPro 8. So if you like the video, if you like the audio, Minus GoPro the 8. Flip Minus page. the flip flop. Picks up everything. Okay, you, sorry, you were saying. The one thing that I noticed that we were talking about today is I had this thought that I, I thought that when you close the door on the, you know, unit right. to put all of our crap in there. And, every, and all the papers are signed and the checks in the bank. I had this vision like everything is going to be like, oh. but it doesn't, it doesn't feel like oh, right out of the gate, you know? And maybe it's because you're on such a, like a high and a rush for so long. You know what I mean? Yeah. That um, maybe it just takes a while to, to come down. But I have this, I guess, unrealistic expectation of what it was gonna be like. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, well there's that, that old saying, like it's not the destination, it's the journey. Right. right? And so it's, we both have this thought like, June 1st when it's done, our plate's empty. Right. And but our plate is empty. And that's empty. never the way it's going to be. No. And it's, it's, it's not like once we start traveling, that's going to be it. That's going to be 
everything will be done. Things will never be done. Right. There will always be things on our plate. And so you just have to try to enjoy enjoy the deer wood now. Because in next week we're not going to be here and we'll be on to some new adventure. And it's not about where we're going. It's about all those little moments. Like we just had a family dinner. Which we haven't been able to, we haven't really sat down. We never really, I think, uh, prioritized that a lot. It was always like feed the kids. Yeah. It and was then, always busy work. And then we would eat like two hours later. Yeah. And there's all these really beautiful moments that are tucked into this mm -hmm. process. And they don't like, it's not like a present that unwraps itself all at once. It's like a, it's like a slow present. It's like and you tear you, the, the corners. Yeah. And you just like grab out one little present at a time. It's like, like right now we left our kids and they're, they feel so responsible because they get to clean up and do dishes right. and stuff. And we're going to go home and make a big deal out of that. And I know that they're going to feel amazing. And like I cooked dinner with Finn last night. Yeah. And normally, like in our normal everyday life, I'm too wrapped up and stressed about like getting things done on a time and a schedule just to take the time to say whatever if the kitchen gets messy. It's like I'll pick it up. What was the or, present that you got as a kid that you always knew what was in it before you ever opened it up? Oh, easy. And anybody in the 80s, an 80s kid, 90s kid will agree with this. Disney movies. Oh, because they had the larger case. You knew case. the squishy packaging <laughs> and how the wrapping paper kind of came yeah. in just a little bit. You know, Because it I mean? wasn't a regular box. It had right. like that little indentation right. yep. on it. And you could squish it a little bit. Yeah, I always That's knew a, a Disney movie. One. That's a good one. Mine wasn't nearly as good. What? Mine was Legos. Would you shake the box? You shake it. It'd be like, okay, I got, I got, I got Legos. And that Barbies. Barbies were like long, thin boxes, so you could, you could pretty much always tell a Barbie. Right. I mean. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I know. You know. I know. I used to um, collect VHS tapes, and I remember. Collect? Wow. Yeah. I mean, I had a huge collection, and I remember one of my friends, like in high school, saying. One of these days, VHS tapes are going to be a thing of the old. It's going to be DVDs. And I was like, no way. Who said that? Garrett. That is so smart. And I said, no way. DVDs. No, I think, DVDs are... I think in the future, like, streaming is going to be... We're going to have them beamed right into our forehead and have, like, contacts or something that will automatically play them. I mean, we don't even know what it's going to be. You don't even know. I'm totally open to all that, though, now. I'm not... I got screwed on my VHS tape collection, too. Uh, I was no, going to sell it for millions. No, I couldn't even give it. It's like 50 cents for Robin Hood. It's like Kevin Costner's oh, greatest hit. That was 50 cents. Best. People really adhere to the slow speed in here. Yes. And living, coming from a busy house or a, right. living on a busy street. Right. And just yelling at neighbors to slow down. People to slow it down. It is so refreshing that people go like five, five. miles an hour. Five here. Literally. That's, That's like why we can speed. send our kids around. One more week of work. I just finished up a trip a couple days ago. Yesterday, right? Just got back. I went. I went out to Charleston. My first time there. I was only there for 12 hours, so I didn't get a chance to really get out and explore. But that was nice. You know what's really interesting is that, like, when we lived in our old house, and he would get up and get ready for a trip, he would, um, like, set out all of his stuff the night before in the half mm -hmm. bath. And now there's no like, there's nowhere to hide. No. When I get up at 5 a.m. to go to work, I'm up. Everyone's up. Everyone's up. I still tried to be quiet. But I'm not what they call a morning person. No. I, I'm off for five days now. And then I've got three more days on call. And then <whistles> off for the month of July. Ugh, we're so excited. Maybe off for the month of August. We don't know yet. They're offering pilots extended leaves to try to help soften the financial blow, right? To... Oh no, Hi. really? Where are y'all from? Here, locally. Yeah, Springfield. What about you? What about you? We've been to school the past 12 years ago. On the no road? Way, not just really? not here, just no, on, on the road. road. Wow. Sold our house, sold our furniture, all my Corvettes. No. I go to a town called Denver. Deadly. And eat his hotel, Kevin Costner's hotel. Kevin Costner, really? Yeah, I, every, everything I did, we really, really set his hands on. Have a good yeah, day. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. It was hilarious. We were just talking about Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner and South Carolina. North Carolina. North, yeah, we went to we South. Literally, I know. We're just talking about North Carolina. That is Kevin a sign Costner. that we should go to Deadwood. Go to Kevin Costner's hotel. Go to Kevin Costner's restaurant. Was it a restaurant or a It was a hotel wow. restaurant. Okay. We're going. So that's how you, you find... This is what happens at an RV park. You meet the coolest people. You meet just 
the most unique? I mean, they've lived on there every 12 years. We had a, uh, a guy put on a concert here the other night. Oh yeah, we did. He just gets out his guitar. Yeah, and, he's, like, he's our neighbor. Speakers. He had a mic. And, and a mic. Amplifier. And he was like kind of like an Aerosmith kind of guy. He had the big tall slash hat, that kind of black yes. like top hat. So not sure if you're gonna see Deadwood again, but this is kind of that green space. Deadwood, Deerwood. <laughs> Deerwood. We're going to Deadwood. We're going to Deadwood, but this is, this Deerwood. is Deerwood. I think we're ready to be on the move on. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? Chocolate check. Wow. Wow, you guys. Who did all this? All the dishes are... Oh my goodness. Wow, you guys. Look, baby, her bag. <sighs> that yeah, looks great. Like now, mommy, how many chocolates are on the table? Seven. Let's see if there's still Where seven. The Here's the final Fiona test. Mm -hmm. Count them, mommy. Put them down here. Three, seven. Seven. You didn't eat any? Were you tempted? Kind of. <laughs> what? That's what I did for cleaning. Guys, this is the best. And maybe if you clean, you'll get a little sweet. It's so good. Yummy, yummy. Love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Bye.